Absolutely. And tell me about how you were able to deeply define social connection and what that warmth was. Because I think also that we can all project our own beliefs onto what that statement yeah. is, but I'd love to hear it yeah. from your side of actually doing the research. Like what was categorized as warmth and what was categorized as, you know, meaningful social connection to have that result. Yes. Okay. So there are a bunch of different ways to think about social connection. One is literally how many people do you see in a given day or a given week? And that's also important. So people who see more people um, tend to live longer and healthier uh, compared with people who are more socially isolated. Right. And is that C one to one or do you mean even in the workplace? Or? Even in the workplace. Right. The, now, sometimes they're, they're called weak ties. And what that mm -hmm. means is mm -hmm. people we are connected with, but not that connected. Mm -hmm. So I might see someone at work and we have a kind of friendly exchange. How was your weekend? And it turns out that that's health promoting. As long as they're decent exchanges, as sure. long as we're not snarling at each yeah. other, yeah. right? It turns out that that is health promoting. Okay. But then in addition, what you talked about, the warmth of connection turns out to be really important. Mm. So we're not going to have the closest, warmest connections with everybody we see during the day. But a few people, if we're lucky, will be people who we feel like we could call on uh, as we asked our participants, who could you call in the middle of the night if you were sick or scared? If we have some people in our lives like that, mm. then those are the connections that really help keep us healthy. Absolutely. So there are people who offer us physical support, instant, you know, what we call instrumental support. They'll drive us to the doctor when we need it. They'll come over and hold our hand when we're throwing up. Um, emotional support. So when I have a, a really awful day and I'm feeling terrible about my life and my work, I can talk to somebody and they will help calm me down and yeah. help me put it in perspective. Yeah. And literally I can feel my body calm down mm. when that kind of conversation happens. Amazing. And often, often it's your romantic partner, but you don't have to have a romantic partner to have this kind of relationship. You can have close friends. It could be a sibling. Uh, it could be a parent. Mm. Um, but having at least one or two of those relationships in the world is really important for our health and well-being.